Greetings, folks. John Grace, President of Investors Advantage, and the Money Doctor is in. So we've gotten some great feedback from you, and we sure appreciate you for that. And we're going to do something that no one's done before. That's do our best to explain the economy in a way that you get it in a very short period of time. So let's get right down to the meat of the coconut, shall we? Let's begin with that all-time classic, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Of course, that's from the 1939 movie that everybody loved, The Wizard of Oz. And there were some great protagonists and, you know, folks involved in that. And you might, do you identify with the people in the movies? Uh, what do we have? Dorothy, Tin Man, The Lion Man, Scarecrow, and then there's Toto. We'll get back to Toto in just a minute. But this was, uh, you know, they, they were successful in knocking out the Wicked Witch of the West. They were looking for the all-powerful, all-knowing wizard, right? The With a powerful voice and just has to be a magnificent kind of entity, right? That something you've never seen before. And Lord and behold, the dog, Toto, pulls away the curtain only to show a little old man. Wasn't that funny? Nobody talks about Toto. I'm going to look like Toto here in a minute because that's what we do. We reveal the obvious. I'm going to suggest to you that you not get sidelined by the headlines. We pay so much attention to the headlines because we don't really see what's going on. We're going to look at the economy all together now in a way that we think you can understand it. And I want you to know how I feel qualified to do this work. Since 1999, 2000, we started paying for independent research. There may be 2,000 financial advisors in the Caneo Valley. I'm only aware of two who pay for independent research. So what that means is we're not listening to home office or the people who have product to sell. We're trying to read the economic tea leaves. And I'm going to give you what we have ascertained to be uh, what I think is the most powerful way to read the economy in a way that it makes sense. So if this makes some sense to you, if I have your attention, please stick around because we're going to get into the details.